What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by. The video you're about to see is uh, the last cook-off that I did in Victoria this past weekend. I was able to get some footage together. I'm going to put that all together, bring it to you. I hope that you, uh, you guys enjoyed, and that video is coming up next. Hey, guys, we made it to Victoria. Got still set up. I'll flip the camera around and show you our little setup. I don't know how many teams are going to be here. Honestly, I don't think there's going to be a ton of them. There are a lot of... Uh, Cookoffs going on this weekend and some big okay, ones, good. paying out a lot of money that a lot of people are going to. So uh, I'm not sure how many teams are going to be here this weekend. I, I have seen a couple of good teams, uh, but we'll find out. Uh, more teams are coming in as I as I speak, They're getting set up. But let me show you our little setup. Uh, we still got to prep all our meat, so we'll head inside here in just a second and do all that and uh, see how this goes. Fingers crossed. So this is our setup area. It just got done pouring rain. So everything's kind of condensed right now. We got our tent and then we got the RV behind us. Got our camera over cooking on the race crew drums this weekend. Our teams are starting to set up now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many again, but I think at minimum 30 and I think up to 50. So uh, Brandon went to get the trays. I'm trimming up meats and uh, we still got to make our injections and then uh, get the rest of this night going. So it's a little setup. We'll spread it. Well, it's supposed to be pouring rain tomorrow too. So who knows? We may just be cramped under here and stay inside all day tomorrow. Do a little walking around. Team Chupacabra, Jackie and Tim. Hey, Jackie. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good, good. Just walking around. Got all her banners in there. Hell of a cook. Then we got this guy, Bullhorn Barbecue. Oh, What's up? Look at this guy right here. What's going on? This month, I am. Who are you training this week? All right, so we got all the meats on. We got the ribs here. We got those on at like a little before nine. Chicken on at 9.30. The pork butts and brisket were there at six. We just pulled the brisket out here. We're about to wrap it up. So we'll wrap it in full, put it back on the pit. Just been going for four and a half hours. It should go for another two hours. Be done, we'll pull it out. Get in the full pan, or get in the camera, and let it rest. All right, so the chicken is pretty much done. We're gonna sauce it up. Got about 45 minutes to turn in. So, whoa, woo! Made that hole a little too big. That's a nice color. So we're gonna get these sauced up, let them sit uh, back in here for about 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, we'll get them ready for the turn-in box. And I'll show you what that looks like once we get to that point. All right, so here are chickens. We're gonna run with this one because it's smaller. It's probably gonna fit better in the box. I'm liking the way this one looks. This one is just a whole lot bigger. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to put it in this box, but I'm gonna give it a shot. We got some time. If not, we'll pull it out and run with the other one. Down in the bottom. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to 
Let's see if we can fit in the box. Let's try. I don't know where to find out. Dripping juice. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. All right, that one's not gonna fit, but I kind of figured. Oh, gotta test this one real quick. Let's get that last one. Find any small birds. I like the sauce job on that bigger one better. Um, but it is what it is. We'll touch it up and then get it turned in. First turn of the day, chicken. Look pretty. Yeah, really, good. really moist. I think we don't gotta go far. That one in the middle, maybe, and that way the other two can hold it. That way the other two can hold it up. Okay, that looks perfectly. Yeah, that's Got a couple minutes to get these reds turned in. Pulled here, box. Now we're going to line it with the money muscles. So we're going to go six on each side. That was kind of uh, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Extremely moist, nice smoke green, nice flavor. Ain't too mad at that. I'm 
muscle. <laughs> it's all money muscle like last time. But that pool does actually really good too. We'll get them adjusted a little bit and then I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Alright, finished product. Get it turned in and uh, hopefully we do well. Alright, so here's our brisket. So it turned out. Brisket turn in. Looks good, tastes good. We'll see. Alright, it is awards time. Brother Brandon and I were done. Wait for teams to come in. Uh, they got the stage uh, getting ready to go. It should be starting in a few minutes. We'll see how this goes. And all the times I cooked in Victoria, I've never done well, but let's hope this weekend is the weekend that finally breaks the curse. We'll see. My name is the Smoky Cowboys. This is my partner right here, DJ Pesado with Day Entertainment. Thank y'all for coming out, showing y'all support. Like I said yesterday, it is a guaranteed $5,000 payout. And just to uh, add on next year, I sat down and talked to Mr. Miss Pfeiffer. We are making it a double hitter next year, Saturday, Sunday. All right, first of all, we're gonna go off uh, with the jackpot beans. Why? 
on Brandon Flores. What you know about a rolling down in the deep when you Alright guys, we're down to words as you saw. Uh fourth place brisket, sixth place no. Fourth place chicken, sixth place brisket, and seventh place pork. So again, I mean it was it was good. I mean I we felt like we would do a little better, but you know, listen, we got three calls, right? So you can't complain. So, it's, uh, seventh overall. Oh, seventh overall, yeah, that's right. So uh We'll regroup, do it again. In like two weeks? weeks. Yeah, 24. Yeah, in about two weeks. We'll uh, redo it again this time we go to Leander. So, Brother Brandon, thank you for having us again, man. Thank you. Thank you. So, we work well together. Maybe we wore my matching shirts so I can match them, but I, but I want to show my chef's hair. Uh, my chef's hair. So, <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and it was great meeting all the, the folks that uh, I met out here this weekend. So, if you guys uh, watch the video, it was a pleasure meeting you. Um, so that's it. Pack up, hit the road, and uh, we'll do it again in a couple weeks. So again, hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.